guys, Canadian Zangief back again, and uh, got another unboxing of uh, Retro Bomb box. Uh, this is I picked this up from uh, Retro Bomb Collectibles in April, and I'm just really lazy on <laughs> getting the video out there. Things kept coming up, then I went on holidays, so whatever. Um, so this is my unboxing. So enjoy. <laughs> So now time for the unboxing of the April Retro Bomb Box from uh, Retro Bomb Collectibles, local flea market uh, guy. A really solid guy for helping me out with this. So let's take a look. Sure, it's in. I gotta make sure I don't see inside here. So first off, as usual, here's his business card: Retro Bomb Collectibles by Rick Setti. Definitely check him out if you're ever in Winnipeg. So we got here first. Oh, so if you haven't seen the last Retro Bomb Box, the idea is to get more value than uh, Retro Game Treasures locally in Canada because after shipping and exchange rate, it's just not worth it anymore. So first off, looks like we got a Super Nintendo game, and it is Flashback, the quest for identity. That's pretty cool. I, I like Flashback. Um, actually played this a little bit uh, before, it's not bad. Okay, so that's a decent start. And next, let's see, we got a Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy game, and it is Star Wars. Oh, nice. This is a pretty solid box so far. Hmm, cool. And next is a PlayStation 1, I think, and it's Mr. Driller. Huh. It's complete, I think. Yeah. Cool. And looks like last one. Oh. It's a PlayStation 2 game, so it's really jammed in there. Oh boy. Okay, well, I'm just going to show in the bottom of the box. Anyways, it's uh, Avatar Into the Inferno. Um, anybody that was watching my unboxings before saw that I actually picked up the first Avatar game for the PlayStation 2 off the original Retro Bomb. Uh, not Retro Bomb. Um, Retro Game Treasures. And this would make the second one. Cool. So, four games this time. Um, we'll check the values and see um, how we did. I think you're doing pretty good with this. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy with uh, the results of the April Retro Bomb Box. Uh, once again, uh, it's like the value is way over retro game treasure subscription you know because I don't have to pay shipping and I don't have to do anything like that the total love uh, for this was actually fairly nice um, and I look forward to doing it again I'm getting a pretty positive uh, response from doing these videos so I'm having fun doing it so we'll keep doing it we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>